Hello, my planner friends. Today, I am going to make paper clips out of the chipboard stickers that came in the Coco Daisy January 2020 noted uh, subscription. And I got this idea from Annabelle O'Malley. She has it on the blog at, um, on the Coco Daisy blog from, I think it was August that she did this. And so I think I have done it every month since August. Um, it's super simple. It goes pretty quickly. It has to dry for 24 hours, but other than that, it goes pretty quickly. So I tried, before this video started, I tried to use tacky glue instead of a glue gun because I'm not really that good with a glue gun. So this could be interesting. And it's not bad. It looked horrible to begin with. But what I did remember was that my circle punch is a little bit too big. So I'm going to trim it before we get there. But I got glue all over this one. I tried this one because I do not have a winter break. So um, I'm not going to use that one for anything. So I just that was my guinea pig one. But I don't know if you can see or not, but right along the bottom there, my circle is the piece of paper that I used on the back of it is a little bit bigger than my um, chipboard piece. So you can see it off the bottom. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these small circles and the two big circles I may do that one as well. These don't seem like they would be paper clips to me, so I don't usually do those. So, um, and I used the one that was there on my pocket. So, so yeah, so that's what I'll do. So I'll start with the um, seven small ones because those are the ones that are almost the exact same size as my punch. So I'm gonna punch seven circles. Okay, I have seven circles. I'm gonna put that off to the side back here. And then I'm going to grab a pair of scissors and I will go in and just trim around the edges. Now this means that my circle is not going to be perfect. That is kind of a problem for me because I like for my circles to be perfect. And um, so, but I don't like for the paper to stick out on the back. And really, once you do it, you'll never see the piece of paper on the back anyway. So you could use either side, doesn't really matter. Okay, so I will start with, I'm gonna start with this one because this isn't my favorite color in the bunch. And so if I mess it up, I'm not gonna feel so bad about it. Ah, feel good. Okay. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put a glob of hot glue on the back of it. Let me put it up here just to make sure that you can see it. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to put this back. And I'm going to take a paper clip and make sure that you get the paper clip going the right way. If you're not sure, like act like you're gonna stick it on something. And the other part of this is that you need to make sure that your paper clip is going the right way. So like when you turn it around, make sure it's straight. So you kind of have to stick it on there. And it is nice that the hot glue is gooey for a little bit. All right, so then I'm gonna take my um, circle that I cut around the edges of it, and now it's a little bit smaller than the thing, but that's okay because you're really not gonna look at the back very much. And that went about as well as I could ever imagine that it would have with me and hot glue. So now that I have that done, I have a paintbrush over here. 
Sorry, I didn't have that in the picture when I started. And I am going to take this triple thick, brilliant brush on gloss glaze. And uh, I think if you go to the Coco Daisy blog, I think that Annabelle recommended something else. Uh, Cheryl Ryder mentioned in a post that Ranger makes a product um, that's like this. But um, this was the one that was on Amazon and I live in a small town and I have to pay $3.50 to cross the bridge to go to where Michael's is and I didn't want to drive over there. So I ordered this on Amazon. So, and it seems to work fine. So at this point, before I put that on there, I am going to move this stuff out of the way and I'm going to put this I have prepared in advance my little tray that that I'm gonna put these on once I make them. I think I'll just make one for this um, for right now and get it all the way done and then you can see it from start to finish. And then you can repeat it if you want to. Okay, good enough. And I just put this book underneath it so that, um, and this is a piece of wax paper. One, so they won't stick to it. And two, so that it has some body to it so that I can pick it up and move it out of the way so that I can do something else on this table once I'm finished with this project. I'm just gonna take this stuff out and I'm gonna, let's see if I can get out of the frame here put some of it on there and it's it's opaque and it's about to run off the edge. And um, then I just take it and I kinda move it around so that it goes all the way around. I might have put a little bit much on this one. If it doesn't look like it's going right to the edges, I take the paintbrush and I brush it just right out there to the very edge. And that is pretty much the end of this project. Just make sure that your gloss isn't coming off the edge and who remembers from science class looking at a glass of water how it lips up it kind of does that from if you can look at it from the side I can't really turn it sideways because whoo it will spill so at this point I just take that put it down on my piece of wax paper and I feel good is ready to go now all it has to do is just dry for 24 hours and I'm good to go so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it again.
welcome back. Here are my clips. They are all done. Um, I had one, I don't know if you can see it on film, but it is a little cloudy in the middle. So I'm thinking that it may need a little bit of extra time to cure where there was just a little bit more stuff on it. But they look super cute. And so I am going to over here like this and I'm still gonna kind of be careful with them for probably another 24 hours or so just to keep them from from getting stuck on each other like I'd be very careful especially at the beginning like I wouldn't put them like this or like this because the paper will get stuck to that stuff if it's not a hundred percent cured and then I had one do that and it took a long time it, it I couldn't get the paper off so I'm just gonna stick these in here, just, you know, very casually. You would obviously paper clip them for real if you were gonna do it, but you can put them in this way or this way. You can do whatever you want to with them. So they really make your planner look super cute. And you have a ton of clips for the month and you can use them for whatever you want. And so there you go. Easy peasy paper clips and the planner looks super cute. So, thank you for watching. Come back and see me for my next video, and I will see you soon. Bye bye.